and, and normally they play better in the second half. It was slightly better, but they, they found it so hard to get round the back of AC Milan. They played in front of them all night. There's a lot of players there playing with a lack of, lack of confidence. Romero's got to be looked at. We say it every week. He could, he could be what, a wonderful defender, but he, it's time and time again he gets sent off. Mm. He gets the second booking. He's got to play differently then. But, they, you know, that's just one individual. But as a collective, they just weren't at it tonight at all. And it's very disappointing. And that is a pattern of Tottenham. It's not a one-off. You know, it's a pattern. It's time and time again we've seen them play like this. Mm. First and foremost, congratulations to Milan. Um, they they done their their part of the bargain. They held their side up, mm. but from a, a Spurs point of view, you have to say, embarrassing. Um, no spark, um, no urgency, uh, lacklustre at times. Um, dour, drab. I don't know how many more words I can find to explain the performance today. They we asked at half time and before the game for these players to go out there and give these fans something to kind of get them behind uh, get them behind them which you need in these knockout phases in these big games they done nothing they done no there was no fight there was no spirit in that team and they'll be going back into their change room and looking around and thinking could, we all could have done more individually but as a team as well and the manager would have thought I, I, expect, I would have expected much more from that these games you don't really need team talks the, 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 the game, they, they're, they're there, there's the statue of these games, what's at, what's at stake? You go out there and you, you give it your all, you, give it, you perform. The last thing you want as a player when you come off a game, any level, is where you feel that you could have done more, you could have given more to the calls. And that's how they'll be leaving this stadium. And the fans, you could tell the, the, the disappointment in this stadium. You could stadium. hear it. They were, you, well, you couldn't because there was nothing to kind of hit, yeah. to go off. That, that Milan team that's won't, that's won't believe how easy that, oh, that, yeah. that's been tonight. Yeah. In, you know, for what's at stake, and how easy it was tonight. They won't be able to believe it. Spurs these, Spurs, these Spurs fans, sorry, but these no. Spurs fans, they want to hope and pray that Harry Kane wants to be a one-club man. Mm. Regardless of what happens at this football club, silverware-wise, they want to hope and pray that he's, he's that guy that wants to just be here and be Mr Spurs for the rest of his career. Because on the, on the face of that, he's going to say, I'm going to finish my career playing alongside and, with, and, and, and for this type of performance. I don't understand. It. I, it's, more than going away for Harry to, to win trophies or whatever... He's going to be looking at that tonight, and many times where he, enjoy that, Glenn, can no, he wants to be in a team that can create for him. Mm. He scored all them amount of goals and played like he has with a team that hasn't really created that many chances for him. He creates a lot himself, and and you know when they play well, it's like then four or five games. It's not back-to-back -back performances they can put together this team, and it's like they hang on in there. Um, but there's, the, the main key for me is there's just no creativity there. Mm. If you haven't got a player that can drop his shoulder and beat someone, then you open spaces up. You open. You well, get... Son was that player, but he, he was that was player. You're right. Yeah. He's, he's playing in chains. He's played for weeks in chains. He's he's not even thinking about what he's going to do next with the ball. He's just worried about getting control and, and not making a mistake. Mm. It's, it, and, and it's it's a classic there where you do. He's, he scored goals from the bench mm. when he scored three against Leicester. Take him out. Give him actually take him out for a few weeks and let him come on from, from the sidelines. That's just one individual player, but it just wasn't good enough right the way through the team. You do need fight, you do need spirit, that's a given. But there wasn't enough ability out there. Mm. And what about the decision to take off Kulusevski for Sanchez in a game where you need a goal and you need mm. to be pushing forward? It's not the sort of thing that helps your cause when you're a Tottenham manager under pressure. Yeah. Well, the main thing at the moment with the fans and the problem with the fans is that, um, you know, tactically they, they feel it's too defensive, it's too pragmatic, they don't, they don't go for the jugular. And we, we, we saw it again today, we've seen it time and time again, we're repeating the same things time and time again. In the first half of, of a Champions League second leg, you know, the quarter-final at stake, come out and, and go at them, give the crowd something to cheer. I've never seen the crowd so flat, but that was because of the performance. And it's happened... You know, it has to be coming from the manager. It has to be, right, we'll sit back, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll take it in the first half and then we'll get, you know, we'll, we'll go out and, and have a go in the second because it's, it consistently happens and it's just not been good enough this year. But to do that, Peter, I think we were talking during the game and I was saying, well, Tottenham only play with two in midfield and yeah. they get outnumbered. Some teams play with four in there or a three in there, whatever shape is behind or in front. That is where the midfield can't press like they, they should be able to press. They can't get near anyone. And, it, and tonight, it should have happened because they were playing a similar system. So the, the wing-backs should have been smothering, not being pushed back into a five. They could have been smothering their wing-backs on the front foot. And, and the midfield is the problem for me. If they go into a five, they get outnumbered in midfield 
when when the opposition have got the ball. But when they they can't press, they can't press because there's holes, big holes behind them, in between their back three and their midfield, and it's a real problem. You've got to play with three in there sometimes. You've got to change. Sometimes you've got to change the tactics. They've got to play with more risk. We were sitting here and saying, yeah. play the ball forward, yeah. play one touch. Take it's just not going to happen under there's, this there's, manager, though, is it? I, I don't it's know. It's not going to suddenly no, change. I don't know. No, there's there's no I, risk. I, I, it's the player. You've got to look at the player. Mm. Is he going to get... I mean, Hoybier put some decent performances for Tottenham and he's a good player at what he does. But get turned, look forward first. And then if it's not on, then go back. How many the times have we times, sat here? We turn sat here on and, we're, and, and we've then gone... Turn. He's passed it backwards passed again. Back again. Uh, so not, not just Hoybier. Most of the players in the Spurs team, every time there's opportunities to play forward. And it's easy sometimes when you're sitting up in the stand and watching the bird's eye view mm. of the game. But... Too often it happens yeah. where there is a ball on so foot and they play safe. From the manager? Is no. that a confidence issue? Confidence, from the players? scared. There's no the manager hasn't seen it. it. There was the no manager cross, hasn't asked it? him to do that. He hasn't asked him to do that. And that's what happens for Tottenham. The, in the two in midfield sometimes they pop it back so many times. It happens all, you know, all teams nowadays. They go backwards for nothing. Then they haven't turned. It goes back. It goes in. It goes back. Now what you're doing there, you're giving people time to get organised to press you. And they can press you easy when, when no, nothing's being productive going forward. So you're doing set-up balls, set-up balls, going back to the back player, comes into midfield, back to the... They're getting organised to press you. Yeah. So it, it works, even that works against you, whether, let alone getting turned and looking to poke balls through to, to the strikers that Spurs have got. At no point did the, Milan's back three ever feel uncomfortable in that game. Yeah. I'm telling you, Kalulu, Tamori, Chow, all of them... Young defenders, we said before the game, these young defenders in a big occasion like this need to be put under pressure. They come off that pitch, you could see Tamori grew in confidence every minute because he was sitting there going, nothing's testing me here at the, at the moment. And it continued throughout the whole game. Yeah, OK, well, it was a, a must-score, must-win night. It